Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Go ahead and tap in with me super fast, man. Let's go. We ain't gonna be on here long, but I definitely got something that I want to say uh, to y'all this morning. How y'all doing this morning? Go ahead and double tap on that screen if you see me looking side to side. Got my uh, IG going on over here. Got my TikTok going on over here. How y'all doing this morning? Y'all know we do a two for one. You know, whether we in the car, we in the house, we learning to do it all over the place. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And uh, TikTok, y'all know the drill. If you get to acting up, do me a favor, go to IG street poet underscore 1125 I got the same tag on both platforms street poet underscore 1125 so TikTok, if you're not following me on IG make sure you go and do so if y'all haven't gotten y'all tickets already for this Saturday. This Saturday, I'm going to be in New Orleans. The Eventbrite link is up right now. I need y'all to go and grab those tickets. I will be in New Orleans this Saturday. This Saturday. Saturday, September the 30th. This Saturday, I will be in New Orleans. If you haven't gotten your ticket for New Orleans, please make sure you go ahead and do so. The Eventbrite link is up right now. Mastermind Tour 2023 New Orleans. That's where I'm going to be this Saturday. So if you want to see me live in person, if you want to love on me if you want to get your picture your video if you want to hear that word that i'm going to bring on this saturday that's going to be this saturday september the 30th new orleans good morning you to y'all how y'all doing this morning i need for y'all to double tap on my screen and yes indeed i definitely got a message how y'all doing this morning? What's up, Raleigh Durham? I see you guys, Wisconsin. What's good? Y'all know the drill, man. Go ahead. Don't go. I, hey, I can't tell you the topic until y'all get the 10K, love. Y'all got to get the 10K. What's up, Ohio? How y'all doing, man? What's going on in California? Roseville, California. I'll be out there October the 27th. Indianapolis, I see y'all. Okay, the Bahamas checking in. New York is checking in. Okay, I see y'all this morning. Double tap. Charlotte, North Carolina is here. Cleveland is here. More Chicago is here. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, go grab Grab those tickets, man. How y'all doing this morning, Florida? Seattle is here. Louisiana is here. Brooklyn is here. Italy is here. She say Italy love y'all. I love y'all too. What's going on in Indiana? Statesboro. I see y'all. Okay, San Antonio, Texas. Indiana is here. How y'all doing this morning? Big New York. Miami is here. Okay, St. Lucius is here. I see y'all. More. Okay, man. St. Lucius and St. Louis. Both of them in the Saints is in the building today. Good morning, Memphis. Good morning, Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Miami, Florida. More y'all. Virginia. What's good? Big Detroit is here. Houston is here. Okay, mamas. Mama said, let me go ahead and get my coach a badge. Like, thank you so much, Wanda. I appreciate that badge. Y'all know the drill. Man, we need 500K on TikTok, and we need 40 badges on IG. How y'all doing this morning? Compton, I see y'all this morning. Jersey, I see California. I see Los Angeles. I see y'all didn't, yeah, didn't reach the goal. What we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about this right here. Stop letting people who don't like themselves yeah, those folks that don't like themselves, stop thinking that they gonna like you. Stop thinking that those folks that don't support themselves, that they gonna support you. That's what we gonna talk about. I need for you to understand that, you know, y'all out here allowing people that's at war with themselves, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't even come up and show up for themselves. They don't even do what they need to do for themselves, and y'all expecting them to do something for you. You gotta be able to look at these folks and tell, baby, I'm not, I can't even expect for you to love me when I can see for myself that you don't even love you. I can see that you don't don't even show up for you i can see that you don't even take you seriously so how in the world do i supposed to think that you're gonna take me seriously so what you doing what you saying coach i'm saying that y'all are self-sabotaging expecting something from folk that they don't have my title, stop expecting something from folk that they don't have. They don't have it to give. They don't have it to give. Y'all might as well double tap on the screen. Friends say big facts. And if you know for a fact that that's you, you just say ouch and send a gift on TikTok. You say ouch and send a badge on um, IG. You got to understand that it's a lot of y'all right now. Friends say so true. Very much true. Because a lot of times we go through all this time wasted, all this love wasted, all this energy wasted, all this education. You know what I mean? Because you constantly talking to them about certain things. You constantly bringing it up to them over and over and over and you frustrating yourself you wearing yourself out you walking yourself like a dog you're doing the most damage to yourself and it ain't got nothing to do with nobody else because you already knew that that person wasn't capable you already knew that that person did not have it to give you already knew what it was that you were dealing with but you played what you played slow 
Yeah, I, I just, I, yeah, I know somebody writing right now. So, I'm, yeah, yeah, I know somebody writing right now. You, because you're sitting over there, you're shaking your head. Somebody right now talking about, I don't know why she all in my business like that, because I knew better and still did it. I knew they wasn't able and still did it. So, all the red flags and still did it. So, all the inconsistency, coach, you're right. And I still did it. Why? Because I was over there giving them the benefit of the doubt. I want you to understand that that little cute saying of, oh, yeah, well, sometimes you got to play slow. I'm too old to pretend. I can't be out here pretending with not a soul, baby. I'm not pretending with nothing or nobody understand that if you're not ready to be in a healthy relationship If you don't know what reciprocation is if you can't pick up what it is that I'm putting down I don't care how good you look how good you smell what type of income that you have what type of house that you live in Then guess what? I don't want no dealings point blank period. I don't want no dealings. You got to understand that peace is priceless that's a fact. Peace is priceless. It's priceless. I want y'all. Yeah, peace is priceless. Some of y'all, yeah, yeah, you, you ruining your own sleep, baby. You messing up your own meals. You the reason why you can't taste your food. You the reason why you can't sleep at night. You the reason why you having panic attacks one after another. It's because of you. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. It's because of you and the fact that you keep going over there and you, you know, that's right. You keep going over there trying to play slow for them. You keep going over there. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me get this done real quick. There we go. Uh, let me get you right. Mm -mm -mm. Add as a mod. Confirm. Okay. Leandra, you 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 as a mod now, so you know the job. Okay, so I, I want you to understand that we're in a day and time right now. We're in a day and time right now where you got to learn. Understand what I'm saying? You have to learn your own triggers. You have to identify your own triggers. You got to know exactly what it is that you're feeling so that you can create a healthier response for it. The days of just sitting over there, accepting less than what you deserve, sitting over there, settling for the bare minimum. Minimum, sitting over there allowing people to feel like they can pick and choose when they want to deal with you and most of the time it's only going to be when it's convenient for them it's going to be in a time where they yeah yeah as long as it's good for me then I'll come over as long as I you got something that I want from you then guess what I'm all for it but the moment that it, they're not going to gain anything from it the moment that they can't take anything away then it's a no show understand that if you're sick and tired of having no shows in your life I I just need you to do me a favor real quick just put uh, put in the comment section i'm done with the no shows mm -mm. I'm done with the no-shows because I'm about to drop my first note. I'm about to drop my first note. I gave y'all, yeah, I'm about to drop my first note. Uh, Will y'all let y'all let 35.6K. As soon as they get to 50K, I'm going to drop my first note. I need for you to understand. Yeah, yeah, I'm done with the no-shows. If you can't show up, then I, I, I'm done with it. Understand that the no-shows, the excuses for why, I'm done with those excuses as well. Because you got to understand a lot of folk, they can with a whole lot of folk, but they always can't with you. Oh, I'm going to break that on down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when everybody else need them and everybody else asks them for something, they can, they can they can they can show up left and right they can do this that and the third and it doesn't matter they're not screaming about their finances they're not screaming about their health they're not screaming about their other responsibilities they ain't got no other excuse for nothing when somebody else asks them it's absolutely no excuse at all but guess what as soon as you need them to do something you ask them to do something you want them to come and do something for you or with you then here come all the excuses here come all the excuses here come all the oh wow, wow, wow let me see and let me do and all of that baby yeah I'm, I'm done with the no shows yeah you mind well go ahead and double tap on the screen i'm done with the no shows that's right because they can with everybody else but they can't with you yeah, they, they, they can with everybody else whenever. Yeah, oh, they, they, they and I want you to understand that folk are do uh, yeah, because it's a fact. You you got to understand that people are going to do whatever it is that they really want to do. If they really wanted to show up for you, then they would understand that if they really wanted to do it for you, then guess what? They would and they will make a way to get it done. Understand that they will make a way to get done whatever it is that they wanted to get done. If you are important to them, some of y'all have in your own mind that you're more important to these folks than what you really are. So when I say stop playing slow, stop playing delusional, stop acting like you ain't see what you just, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 cause see, some, yeah, yeah, I know y'all, y'all gonna get mad at me, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get mad at me, but I'm just trying to, yeah, yeah, some, some of y'all biggest problem right now, uh, 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 can I say it, just put, yeah, go ahead and say it, coach, just put, go ahead and say it, coach, just put, put, go ahead and say it, coach, in my comment section, cause see, some of y'all got a real big problem, some of y'all, thank you so much for following, uh, yeah, yeah, some of y'all got a real big problem, come on, she said, bet friend, you better say it, okay, you say, say it, the thing about it is, some of y'all biggest problem right now, the biggest problem that you have is that you're trying to pretend to not see what you know 
know that you already saw. Hello, somebody, what you say, Coach Day Delusional? Hello, you already know exactly what it is that you're dealing with. And what you're doing is you're trying to pretend that you didn't see what it is that you really saw. And that's the reason why your heart is over there so heavy. You over there trying to pretend that you don't know what you really do know. You seen the text messages. You seen the phone calls. You done seen it on social media. Your friends and other folk done came back and already brought it to your attention. But you over there trying to play like you don't know what's really going on because you are not yet ready to... To get out of that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you say, coach? They making excuses. Yeah, they 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 they, they making excuses that all oh, you 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 making excuses to stay in a situation that's not even beneficial to you. You making excuses to stay in a situation and to stay connected to somebody that don't even value you. You making excuses to stay over there in a situation where you know for a fact that you're not being treated the way that you're supposed to be treated, that you're not being respected, you're not being heard, you're not being honored. You could go over there and talk until your tongue hurt, and guess what? They'll walk away and won't even be able to tell you two words that you actually said. Why? Because it all went in one ear and right back out the other. Why? Because you've already made it a habit, a pattern of them not having to do what you say or do what it is that you ask of them. You made it a habit. You made it a pattern for them. Or you made it okay for them not to have to do certain things in your life. Oh, okay. Well, if you don't want to do it, then that's fine. Yeah, if you can't come, then you know that's fine. Yeah, I, I I understand. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Oh, oh, coach, you about to get in somebody's business. I understand. Some of y'all didn't get. Yeah, some of y'all done been so understanding that y'all got folk playing in y'all face. What you said? I say some of y'all been so understanding that y'all letting folk play in y'all face. Some of y'all right now need to go ahead and make some folk chest hurt. What you say? Co make their chest hurt. Some of y'all, yeah, 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 right now, and you don't even realize that you have that type of power. You said, yeah, you don't even know that you have it really inside of you because they already know the type of person that you are. They already know the man or woman that you are, and the fact of you ain't even got to stoop down to that level you ain't got to go outside of their way to exchange no negative energy you ain't got to do too much at all all you got to do is snip snip some of y'all right now you ain't got to argue with a person you ain't got to subliminally put nothing out there for a person you ain't got to back and forth or tennis no type of conversation all you got to do is snip snip that snip snip all by itself i have a lot of them walking around holding their chest understand that what well, the problem is though you don't know that you have it in you you're the type of person that's sitting over there pretending not to know what you know, pretending not to see what you saw, pretending not to hear what you've already heard, and you're settling for less than what you deserve because you're not ready to go because of your fear of being by yourself, your fear of not coming home to somebody, your fear of having a dry phone, your fear of not having that relationship go. But what I'm trying to tell you is a piece of a man or a piece of a woman, I want you to dismantle that thinking that ain't better than not having one at all. Come, yeah, you better know it. Mm -mm. I sleep peacefully by myself first. Hello, I sleep peacefully by myself before I settle for that. I want you to understand. I get up every single day with a smile on my face before I settle for that. I'm not settling for anything that's broken. I'm not tolerating anything that is broken. I'm not dealing with nothing that's walking around still crying about their yesteryears, their yester tears. I don't want to hear nothing about your one time at band camp stories. Whatever trauma that you got going on over there, don't come teeth titan over here in my life until you handle your adult business go handle your adult business before coming over here trying to connect with me because one thing's for sure two things for certain is it's not my responsibility to fix you it's not my responsibility to save you it's not my responsibility to stop working on myself to come over there and do a doggone thing for nobody what you say coach i'm not neglecting me for nothing or nobody i cannot afford another distraction yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to get my first note. I'm about to see. I see where they at. They at 75. They at 75.6. First note about to be dropped right now. Which, but I, I got, I got to run that back. I got to, I got to run, I got to run that back. She said, please let them know because it's the truth. I, I, I got you, friend. Hold on. I'm gonna run it right back real quick. What I said was, I can't afford another distraction. I cannot afford another distraction in my life. You got to become right now. We about to slide into October. Everybody already know that October is what mental health month. And I want y'all to be warned right now before we even.
even get into the first, oh yeah, you're going to be seeing a whole lot of me. Because if I don't do nothing else, I'm going to tear that whole entire month up. Understand that I'm going to be right here in your face. I'm going to be loud. I'm going to be passionate. I'm going to be aggressive. That's right. All up in your face, all up in your business, all up on your toes, running up and down your hallway, feet kicked up on your coffee table. Because this and whole entire month, I want you to understand how important your mental health is. You cannot afford another distraction. You didn't put in way too much work on yourself to just keep throwing it away. Oh, I didn't mess up again. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mess up again. I didn't, you know, I, I know I wasn't supposed to, but I did it. And I know I wasn't supposed to did this and I done it or whatever. I want you to understand that you can't afford to continue to make those same exact mistakes over and over and over again. Um, that what you say, coach, I said, you know, you're giving yourself a whole bunch of passes. You're giving yourself a whole bunch of passes. Oh, I keep making the same mistake. I need for you to understand that that after the first time it's no longer a mistake. Now it's a pattern. You're giving yourself an excuse over and over. You're going to have to start holding yourself self-accountable. You're going to have to show up and show up with a, self, a level of self-discipline that you ain't never had before. You don't create easy ways to, yeah, well, maybe if I do it this way. No, 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 no. Stop trying to do it. The, stop trying to do the right thing the wrong way. Stop trying to make excuses for why you're down bad and get yourself up. Nobody's sitting around babysitting you trying to keep talking about oh well yeah and oh well yeah at one point or another it ain't a mistake no more at one point or another you got to understand that you are very much aware of whatever it is that you're doing and ain't no way in the world that you should be out here constantly sacrificing yourself over and over and over again i'm gonna go yeah you can't afford another distraction let's just be real you can't afford another distraction you can't afford to be entangled with folks no more you can't afford to continuously sit over there and always have to start over every single week at point one point or another you're gonna have to get fixed fixed you will have to get locked in you're gonna have to be that, yeah that's right you're gonna have to get locked in and that's that's just the easiest way of saying it coach you're gonna have to get locked in because some folk ain't gonna understand what you mean fixed you're gonna have to have a fixed mindset so for my church folks you're gonna have to have that fixed mindset y'all know exactly what i'm talking about that fixed mindset where you're locked into this is what i'm gonna be doing this is how i'm gonna be doing it i'm gonna stay in alignment and you know for a fact that that what that's that 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 uh what is it call that um uh, uh, com com conviction, that spirit of conviction where that spirit of conviction is all over you, where that spirit of conviction won't let you step out of alignment when that spirit of conviction be standing right there in your face, right before you about to do something that you know for a fact that you ain't got no business doing, right there before you get ready to, to go over there and have that conversation that you know you ain't supposed to be having, right before you go over there and pull up or knock on that door when you know you ain't got no business even being in that area that's what I'm talking about for my church folks but for my people that's not that spiritual that's not on that level that's just here for motivation let me say this right here to y'all i'm talking about having that locked in mindset that mindset where you say i've created my boundary this is my consequence and now it's my job it's my responsibility to execute i owe this to myself i can't afford to come over there and continue to throw myself away i can't afford to come over there and continue to start from um square one i owe this to myself and i have to become my own project my own assignment my own own responsibility i can't build nothing but me i can't put nothing together but me i can't hold nobody else accountable for nothing or nobody but me i gotta work on me understand nope number one is this right here you got your ink pens out i just want y'all to put we ready in the comment section yeah, I'm about to drop it. I'm about to drop it right now. Note number one. Y'all ready? I'm about on. That's come on, man. She said, come on. That's confirmation. Make sure you send me a badge or a gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get five badges, IG. IG, let me get five badges real quick. Double tap on my screen. Y'all ready? I see we ready over here. I'm waiting on my I'm waiting on my IG to catch up. I need them to say that they ready over here. I just need to make sure that they're ready. Double tap on the screen because it's gonna be tight, but it's gonna be right. I, and, and this next note right here is going is gonna really do something. Y'all ready? Okay, your first note is this right here. Growth is when you can disagree with yourself. What you say, coach? Note number one. Growth is when you can disagree with yourself. Ooh, it's somebody that just jumped up out their chair. Uh, yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. Somebody just jumped up. I, what you mean by that, coach? I'm saying real growth is when you're able to disagree with yourself. You know how we have those internal conversations where we know, I, I, I know that I ain't got no business being over there. I know I ain't got no business doing this. I know I ain't got no business having this conversation. But then there's another part of you that's saying, go ahead over there, sis. You know you want that clothes.
closure. Go ahead on over there, sis. You know you want that clarity from them. Go on over there, sis, because you know that you miss them and you know you know this and you know that. At one point or another, you got to hold yourself accountable and let yourself know that you're absolutely right. I do love them. You're absolutely right. I would love to have that clarity. You're absolutely right. I would love to have that closure. But then at the same time, turn right back around and respond back to yourself and say, even though I would like to have it, I don't need it. Fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need it. Even though I would like to, I don't need it, no. I don't need it. I don't need it. You did what you did. I felt what I felt. What's next? Hello, somebody. What you said, coach? I said that real growth is being able to disagree with yourself. Yeah, I understand. But yeah, yeah, but I don't need it. That's that's right. I don't need it. I don't need to hear why they done what they done. I just know that they done it. I don't need to know what made you go. I just know that you done it. And what I'm dealing with right now is going to be facts over feelings. You ain't got to break it down to the common denominator. You ain't got to bring it all the way down to layman's term. You ain't got to do none of that. You did what you did. I felt what I felt. And now it's what's next. We got to learn to understand that it's okay to disagree with yourself. Even though I want to call you, I'm not doing it. Even though I want to text you, I'm not doing it. Even though I might want to knock on your door, I'm not doing it. Even though I might want to come over there and get an understanding, guess what? I'm not doing it because me doing all of that is not going to change the situation. The dis disrespect is going to be the disrespect no matter what and the disrespect is what the closure that's a fact yeah yeah that that that's that's a fact that's a fact you gotta dis yeah yourself because your inner self your inner self especially when you love you when you love a person your inner self when you really love a person and you you've already built that bond with that individual you got to understand that your inner self your inner self that part that's in the inside of you that loves that forgives that loves to compromise that want that relationship that want that family so bad you got to understand that that inner self that other part of you that's tugging that oh i just i don't see myself this and i don't see myself that you're gonna have to shut that individual down you're gonna that's right you're gonna have to bring that individual under control you're gonna have to let that individual know no matter how much you love them they're disrespectful no matter how much you give to them they'll never be able to reciprocate no matter how much you want to be in this relationship with them they're not choosing you no matter how invested you are they are not and if you continue to run after them if you continue to put yourself in that situation then guess what you're doing self sabotaging that's a fact yeah 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 that's that's a fact what you doing i'm self-sabotaging yeah i right, self-sabotaging friends say girl uh girl go to work i am at work this is my job right here bless your heart you wanted attention so bad and i just gave it to you <laughs> yeah yeah go have the day that you deserve now you know what i'm saying now talk to me nice real quick talk to me nice. what you doing self-sabotaging self-sabotaging that's what you're doing self-sabotaging you let somebody sit right there and play in your face. You sitting yeah, you self sabotaging every single time. Real growth is when you can disagree with yourself. Real growth is when you can check yourself. Real growth is when you know how to hold yourself accountable. Real growth is when you're practicing great self discipline. I know what it is that my flesh won't, but I know that it ain't gonna be good for my soul. I know that it's not gonna be good for my mental health. I know that it's not going to be good for me in the long run because you've already, uh, I've already seen the person that you are. I already see the love that you offer. I already see the relationship that you want. And I'm going to have to be honest with myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, if some, if, if you in the comment section, if you, in, if you're watching this video right now, if you're going to be honest, I just want you to, I want you to be honest when I say this real quick. If you, if you know for a fact that it's been some times where you didn't lie to yourself, just put, yeah, I'm, I'm done lying with, I'm done lying to me. If you know for a fact that it's some times in your life, in the situationship, the relationship, the friendship, the family ship that you didn't lie to yourself. I'm, I'm here coach because I keep lying to me. I just want you to be real for one second. It's just, yeah, because I've been, I've been lying to me. I've been lying to me. That's my, my, my biggest problem is that I lie to myself. The biggest problem that I'm having is that I'm lying to myself. And I want, yeah, come, oh, I see it over here. Double tap on the screen, send me some love. Yeah, 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 I've been lying to myself. Why do you say that, coach? Because a lot of times you know exactly what it is, but you lie to yourself like you don't see it. You lie to yourself like, oh, yeah, well, if I do this, then I know that it's going to be that. And if I give this, then I know that it's going to be that when you know that it's not. 
when you know real you know honestly and truly it won't ever be and they've shown you that over and over and over again and you pretend in your own mind that you can change them that you can make them be what you need them to be and it just doesn't work that way you can't afford to continue to sacrifice yourself for other folks to be happy you can't continue to sacrifice your other, yourself for other people to be comfortable, for them to be able to live up to their fullest potential while you sit there suffering. No. You got to stop lying to yourself. All right, I want to go to my next note. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah, yeah, y'all you, ready for y'all next note? Yeah, because we, we talk that way right on into this next one. We talk that way right on into it. Well, the, 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 note number two is this right here. You got to understand that anything that, that that is not in alignment with the goals that you got set, you got three, you got to have three months left in this year. You should have three brand new goals. And in these next three months, you have to got to make it you know, an affirmation your every day. You have to make this note right here, this note number two. You need to make this your affirmation right here. Because your affirmations ain't always I'm beautiful and I'm beautifully made. You're, you're, some of y'all need to make your affirmations also things that you're no longer doing. You need to also put this, if it doesn't align with the goals that I got set, if it doesn't align with the man or woman that I'm creating, then and guess what? I'm no longer giving it my attention. I'm no longer giving it my love. I'm no longer giving it life. It, it can exist. It just can't exist with me. It can do whatever it's going to do. It just can't do it over here. Anything that's not flowing organically, anything that's not happening naturally, it can no longer be connected to me. I'm no longer doing, oh yeah, I'm not doing no more tug of war. I yeah yeah uh, yeah what yeah coach no I ain't doing it I'm not I'm not I'm no I'm no I'm not doing this right here yeah 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 this is some of y'all's relationship right here this is some of y'all's really I'm, I'm I'm done with that I'm, I'm I I won't out the game I won't out the game do me a favor yeah I won't out the game if you won't out the game go ahead and send me some love real quick I see the I see the gifts coming through I see the gift send me a couple badges IG what you say Co I, I won't I I'm done playing the game I'm done playing the game I don't want to play no more I don't want to play no more I'm done I didn't play all that I'm gonna play I'm at a, I'm at a place in my life right now where I ain't, I don't want to play nobody's game no more. I'm done playing games. I'm done back and forth and with folk. I'm done trying to make folk understand things that they're already committed to not understanding. I'm done running folk down. I'm done begging for a relationship. I'm done begging for your time, for your affection, for your energy in any type of capacity. I'm just done. I don't want to do the cat and mouse game. I don't want to do none of that. If I got to go through all of that in order for me to have you, if I got to go through all of that in order for you to give me a response, if I got to go through all of that then it's just not worth it why because my peace is priceless i'm done playing the game i'm done i'm done playing the game that's just it because a lot of times what y'all doing is you got the ox right here here go here you are you a ox and you read you you the ox y'all know i stay with a look yeah you the ox right here and you obedient and you ready to move forward in life you ready to live your very best life you 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 listen you try to stay in alignment as much as you can. You following through with your morning routines. You're showing up to your, your coaching sessions or your therapy sessions. You reading the right books. You're doing everything that you need to do. But your biggest problem is that you is unequally yoked. So when I said note number two was you can't afford to be attached to anything that's not in alignment with the man or the woman that you are creating right now. I'm trying to tell you that in this season, you cannot afford to be unequally yoked because you as an obedient that's ready to work that's ready to get out there that's ready to make things happen but you over here attached to a donkey an animal that refused to listen that cannot be tamed that's gonna go out here and do whatever they want to do whenever they get ready to do can't follow no type of instructions oh yeah yeah you gotta understand that as soon as it's time for you to move forward as soon as it's time for you to do what you need to do here you go you pushing forward here you do here you go you trying to get all the way up there where you gotta go but you attach to something that won't listen. You attach to something that's refusing to grow. You attach to something, you understand that, that don't want to elevate. That's okay with the bare minimum. That's cool with not being able to have. You attach to this and you can't get to where you're going because you keep trying to pull. Come on, let's be real. I can't afford it. 
I can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't afford no more. I can't afford it. I can't afford it, friend. I see you dancing in the comments. Note number two is I can't afford to be attached to anything that's not in alignment with my purpose. I just can't afford it because I, 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 yeah, I, I, I can't afford it because see, while I'm trying to move forward and you stuck over there, you want to stay over there. I don't want to stay here anymore. Understand that I'm not trying to be nowhere in my life where that I'm comfortable. I don't even want to be in a comfort zone. I don't want to get to nowhere in my life where I'm just stagnant. I'm just stuck and there's no motion. And there's no nothing. I want to forever be growing. I want to forever be, you know what I'm saying, elevating in life. I want to be dedicated to learning. I'm trying to do more every single day. Yesterday was good. Understand that. But I'm already ready to go see what tomorrow going to have for me. Why? Because I'm waking up every day with an expectation that this is going to be a better day. I'm waking up every single day and I'm expecting to win. I'm waking up every single day and I want to see myself doing more than what I did the day before. I'm not competing with nothing or nobody but me i'm not trying yeah yeah i have my eyes on my own paper yeah come on now yeah yeah, yeah. i got my i got my eyes on my own paper baby i'm trying yeah I, I'm, I'm focused right here i'm locked in right here and you got to understand that if you are ox and that's a donkey and you know how to do what you need to do but you can't yeah 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 every time that you have to stop let me let me let me say this to you while it's important i need you to understand that every single time that you have to stop doing the work that you need to be doing on yourself to go over there and help out the donkey or to try to convince the donkey or to try to motivate or inspire the donkey every single time that you stop working on yourself to go over here and help the donkey i want you to understand that you're self-neglecting every single time that you stop working on yourself to go over there to do anything for anybody else you're neglecting yourself understand that you could be a whole lot further in life if you focus on yourself you could be a whole lot more successful in life if you learn how to focus on yourself you could be doing all the things that you need and that you want to do if you learn how to focus on yourself a lot of you guys biggest problem is you want everybody to finish it with you you want to take everybody along with you you're so confused with this loyalty thing that you're thinking you got to be loyal to everybody else i gotta do i, I gotta I, yeah because that's how my loyalty set up but i want you to understand that that loyalty first needs to start with you yeah yeah coach what you said mm -hmm. that loyalty need to start with you you shouldn't be more loyal to nobody than you are to yourself yeah, that's a red ink thing. Note for somebody right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see you right here. I see you. I see you got the crying emojis going on over here. What you say, coach? I said you can't be. Yeah, some of y'all more loyal to everybody else than you are to yourself. And that's where the problem come in at right there. You stop working on yourself because you feel obligated to help them out. You, yeah, yeah, you feel a false sense of responsibility to go over there and make sure that they're okay. No matter how disrespectful they are to you, here you are running to help them. No matter how many times they let you down, here you are running over there to help them. No matter how many times they didn't show you exactly how they see you, how they feel about you, what you keep doing, running right on back over there to them. And I want you to understand something about that. Every single time that you do that you are neglecting yourself every single time that you do that you are showing that person that they can play with you you are showing that person that you don't have no type of self-discipline you are showing that person that you don't respect your own boundaries you are showing that person that yeah you talk a good game but you're not committed to none of the things that you say you're going to the therapy they telling you all this powerful stuff you got all these great notes but you're applying none of those things to your life life because I can come back into your life whenever I get ready. I can pick and play with you whenever I get ready. I can in and out your life like you got a revolving door attached to your backside whenever I get ready because you in front of, of this type of environment, you happy, happy, joy, joy, and you got it and you're moving forward. But the moment that I hit you with that, hey, big head, the moment that I pop back into your life with that nice grin, the moment that I show up and you smell that cologne, then you right back in that same exact broken cycle that you said that you wasn't going to go back into and what I'm telling you is that you owe it to yourself to practice a great level of self-discipline yeah motivation ain't gonna yeah motivation ain't gonna do it by itself it need its twin you got to bring his buddy along you got to have more than motivation you got to yeah you got to you, you got to have self-discipline with it you got to be motivated to do the right thing. And you got to be disciplined enough to follow it all the way through.
Come on, talk to me nice. That's red ink pen right there. That's red ink pen note right there. That's a red ink pen note right there. Some of y'all just some of y'all just now, yeah, as soon as you get finished running up and down your hallway, come on and write that note down. Some of y'all that just jumped up out your bed, because yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, jump up, do what you gotta do, but go ahead and write that note down. Motivation alone is not gonna do it. You got to bring the twin. You got to bring that self-discipline because motivation will get you fired up. Motivation will get you up out the bed. Motivation will give you that pick-me-up. It'll inspire you. It'll like that fire that's in the side of you. That's what the motivation will do. But that self-discipline, self-discipline is what's going to keep you in alignment. Self-discipline is what's going to push you to follow this thing all the way through. You got to understand that you got to have both of them. Not one and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have just one. You got to have the other. You have to have them both together. I'm, I, I got another note. I got another note. Y'all ready for it? Let's, let's double tap on the screen. Send me some love real quick. Double tap on the screen. Let's go. Double tap on the screen. Let's go. Double tap on the screen. Let's go. Let's, let's be real about it because I got more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co but coach, the thing about it is, you know, I be loving people so much and I just want to do for people so much. And I think my biggest hang up is I just want to see everybody win. I just want to see everybody happy. And, you know, I just feel like every time somebody going through something, coach, they run over there to me. And every time somebody got something going on, coach, then I just, you know, I feel like I have to go and do. I need for you to understand that you got to learn how mm -hmm, to respect your own boundaries. What'd you say? I say you got to learn how to respect your own boundaries. When you say that I'm not giving to nobody that's not giving to me, you're going to have to stand on that. When you say that I'm not coming through for some from nobody that's not coming through for me, then you're going to have to stand on that. When you say that I don't have uh, any, I can't afford another soul tie with another individual, the wrong individual, you're going to have to stand on that. When you say that I'm willing to lose and walk away from anything and anybody that's not beneficial to my growth and my development, you're going to have to stand on that. Your biggest struggle in life right now, one of your biggest struggles it's the fact that everybody want to have this healing spirit for everybody else but you fail when it's time for you to heal you mm. okay 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 too much heavy that's heavy okay i'm, I'm yeah okay heavy that was that, that was too deep i'm sorry i apologize for that but that just came that just came out there like that okay friends say boom i, I just you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm i just it just came out there like that don't blame me it just came out there like that what you say you want to heal everybody but yourself you want to heal you want to heal everybody but yourself and you don't see that as a problem you want to heal everybody but yourself you're gonna have to understand that this self journey the self journey is going to require you to heal yourself for yourself by yourself and then on this path it's going to be some times in your life where you're gonna have to do what you're gonna have to walk away from some people you're gonna have to detach yourself from some people and it's going to be some people that you love more than anything it's going to be some people that you didn't see yourself living without it's going to be some people that you thought was going to finish this whole entire race with you it's going to be some people that you never in a million years thought that y'all wasn't gonna be speaking that you never thought that y'all wouldn't do sunday dinners together that you never thought that you wouldn't wake up together you're gonna under you have to understand that you want to have to matter to you first you gonna have to yeah 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 you gonna have to learn how that you matter to you first because one thing y'all ready for note number three note number three is this right here because you can't change people but you can change how people how you deal with people you can't change people, but you can change how you deal with those people. Mm. She say, dang, you talking to me. What you say, you can't control what a person do on the other side, but you can control what they do when it got something to do with you. Understand that I can't control the person that you are and I'm not going to try to, but I am, I, I'm in total and complete control on what goes on over here. That's like a person that's talking. I can't control what it is that you're talking about behind my back. But one thing I can control is the fact that I'm not letting you smile up in my face. Understand that you won't talk about me and then smile up in my face. You won't walk me like a dog, then smile up in my face. You won't sit around me and lie and cheat and let me down countless times. You won't go outside of your way to try to slander and disrespect credit me and then think that you about to still have that same type of access to me that you're going to still reap the benefits of me that you're still going to be connected to me in any type of way shape or form what you said note number three was coach i said you can't change people but you can change how you deal with folk you can't disrespect me and then still think that you're going to be over here screaming skinning and grinning all up in my face you're going to be still walking alongside of me that you're still going to be double tapping and interacting with me like everything is too 
to the good. Oh, no, 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 baby. I'm done playing pretend with folk. I need for you to understand. You got to change the way that you deal with some of these folks because some of these folks that add the least value to your life are the main ones that you're doing the most for. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, let's just, let's call a spade a spade. Let's just be real about it. What you say, Coach, the ones that add the least value are always the ones that require the most from you. The ones that, requ that, that add the least value. The ones that always show up to your table empty-handed. The ones that ain't never got nothing to offer. The one that's always got the excuses. The ones that always show up and it's a, it's a this and it's a that. Those are always the ones that you're willing to do the absolute most for. Always the ones that you're running outside of your way, bending over backwards for. They add the least value, but you always but require the most from you. How is it that you want so much from me, but you don't never bring nothing to the table? How is it that you expect so much from me, but then when it got something to do with you, I'm noticing that it ain't never this. Oh, no, 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 baby. You got to get to a place in your life where you understand that you have the power to do what change how you deal with folk. When you see that they're inconsistent, when you see that they're low down and they're dirty, when you see that they cannot pick up what it is that you put down, then you got to walk away you got to detach yourself but some of y'all have convinced yourself like i said back over in note number one some of y'all walking around delusional some of y'all walking around lying to yourself some of y'all walking around over there trying to act like you don't know that you got the power that you got talking about well what if you tell them to leave and they won't leave they don't own you No, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm, I just want. I just want y'all to put. Cause I need y'all to put that in y'all. I need y'all to put that in the comment section. Yeah, they they don't own me. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not your property. I'm not your property. Some of y'all out here letting folk treat y'all like property. Uh, yeah, some of y'all go ahead, double tap on my screen. Y'all at 250K. We need to double tap uh, over here on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, what, what you say, coach? I'm not your property. You don't own me. There you go. I see that you don't own me. You don't, you don't own me, baby. You don't own me. You don't own me. Some of y'all have tricked yourselves into thinking that you are somebody's property. Oh, if I walk away, they're going to do this. And if I cut them off, this is how they're going to respond. And they sold this and they sold that, baby. They only that way with you. They don't jump up in nobody else's face like that. They don't yell and scream and do the absolute most with nobody else. You got to understand that some folk only play crazy because they feel like they scare you. They play crazy because they feel like they can intimidate you. At one point or another, you're going to have to put your foot down and let folk know, oh, you're not going to psychologically abuse me. You're not going to go outside your way to try to instill no type of fear in my life. You're not going to try to intimidate me in no type of way, shape, or form. The same way that you're doing this, this, and this, I want you to understand that I can do the same thing. Thing, but I'm choosing not to because I don't want to exchange that type of energy with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip, snip. That's right. I'm protecting my peace at all costs. I got my new sweatshirts. My, my sweatshirts say to, uh, protect the vibe. Protect your vibe. I'm, pro I'm protecting my vibe. <laughs> Better know that, baby. You won't disturb that. You will not disturb my vibe. Understand that. You will put it in my comment section too, y'all. Y'all know I love it when y'all type it out. You won't disturb my vibe. You, I, I, I'm not going to let you do it. Understand that because if you allow somebody to have that type of power, that type of control over your life, what I want you to understand is that they will use and abuse you at every every, every given single time, every single time, because they feel like they intimidate you, because they feel like they scare you, because they feel like they control you. They feel as though they got your little heart inside of their pocket. They feel like you're something to play with. They feel like you are a toy. So if I say this, if I raise my voice, if I start trying to over talk you or overpower you, then you're going to clam up. Then you're going to shut down. Then guess what? Then I win. I want you to understand that you can be loud and still wrong. Just because they're raising their voice does not make them right. Just because they acting overly aggressive does not mean that they're all right. You can be just as calm, cool, and collected and still be all the way right. A person that have to do all of that just to prove a point is a person that what? You just want to try to control somebody and I ain't finna let you do it to me yeah scream hoop and holler but you still about to hit that door <laughs> yeah expeditiously understand that and if i'm at your house watch how fast i get up out of there i'm gonna try to tell you right there mid conversation mid conversation as soon as the, the, the disrespect come y'all better ask somebody about me i'm halfway down the road they still in mid conversation you better learn how to walk smooth off stop allowing people to think that they control you stop allowing people to think that they have that type of power over your life that if you decide that you're not happy there that you no longer want that relationship that you can't leave if that's what you want to do if you're not 
happy there, if you're not satisfied there, if that relationship ain't given what you thought that it was going to give because they came and presented to you one person, but then reality, there's something else. That's right, because some of y'all wrapped up in the rep um, representation, y'all, 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 it, it presented itself really nice. It presented themselves like they was this, that, and the third, but the more that you got to know that individual, you found out that they were nothing like the person that they presented. You found out that they still got other things that they need to be working on. You found out that the finances wasn't really financing. You found out the living arrangements wasn't really the living arrangements. You found out the car that they was driving really wasn't a car. You found out that they couldn't really do what they said that they was going to do. And now that you're trying to hold them accountable for the person that they presented to you, they try to make it seem like you're the bad guy or you're the villain because you're holding them accountable. What you say, Coach Snip Snip? Yeah, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go expeditiously. Expeditiously. I, I, yeah, yeah, I, won't, I, I, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Two finger swinging, baby. I'm up out your life. Call me a gold digger all you want. All I'm saying is when I started dating you, this is what you told me that you did. This is how you said you live. And now I'm asking you where it's all at. And now all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. No, I ain't even about to play that game with nothing or nobody. That's right. I'm not about to do it. Two finger swinging. If I can, yeah, life already hard. Hello, somebody. What you say, coach? I said life is already hard. And one thing's for sure, two things for certain is I refuse refuse to be connected to anybody that's about to make it harder. Life is already hard. I'm not staying in no relationship with nobody that's going to make it harder. I'm not staying in no relationship with nobody. I got to continuously feel like I got to prove myself or prove my love. And every single day I got to wake up and I got to give you reassurance. Like every single day that I wake up, I got to go outside my way to make sure you're this and you're that. It's nothing wrong with giving reassurance. You can reassure a, a reassure person. You know what I mean? I can tell you that I love you. I can do all of those things. But if you're asking for constant reassurance, then that means that you don't feel the love that I say that I have for you. Now you're wearing me out. Now you're draining me. Now you got me over here self-doubting because I'm thinking that I'm loving you. I'm thinking that I'm giving to you. I'm thinking that I'm doing all these things right. And here you are every single time with this. Oh, no, 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 no. You ain't going to run me in the ground. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't, yeah, yeah, I ain't doing it. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't about to run me in the ground. Friends say, preach, I'm, 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 I'm trying to tell you, you're not about to run me in the ground. Understand that. Mm -mm. Because one one thing, so y'all ready for y'all next note? I just want y'all to put we ready. Yeah, you can't run me in the ground. I'm just not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm not gonna let you run me in the ground. I'm not gonna let somebody that's unhappy in their own life when you're un, when they're unhappy in their life, they'll go outside of their way to try to make you unhappy in yours. A person that is unhappy in their life, they will go outside of their way and do everything in their power to also make sure that you're unhappy in yours. And I want you to understand that they are very much aware of what it is. That they're doing that's why I even tell the youth that I coach I tell them all the time do not allow somebody to get into your ear about your parents about the person yeah yo, your mother's so hovering she's always around she's always this she's always that she you know what I mean Be, the, and they don't have a relationship with their mother understand that you have a mother that cares about you that cares about your well-being that cares about if you are right or not that wants you to that want to check in with you that has a healthy relationship with you you cannot allow somebody Somebody to get into your ear and tell you, oh, you a mama's boy or you a daddy's girl. Every time you turn around, you run into your daddy or you run into your mother. You got to understand that people who did not come up in relationships where they had healthy relationships with their parents, they will be jealous of the relationship that you have with yours. Understand that people that are unhappy in their life, they will go outside of their way to try to make sure that you're unhappy in yours, baby. You're not going to make me feel bad because my mama loved me. You ain't going to make me feel bad because because my daddy loved me. You're not going to make me feel bad because I got relationships and bonds with people that will come through for me, that will support me, that will show up for me just because you don't have it. I'm not going to do that. Yep, that's what people will do. If they unhappy in their life, they'll go outside their way to try to make you unhappy in yours. And I just wanted to make, use that as an illustration because that's something that I was just talking to somebody about. Like, you worried about what somebody else is saying and how they feel about it. That ain't got nothing to do with the price of tea in China. At the end of the day, you got to understand that. Uh, Y'all ready for the note? The note is this right here. You got to stop allowing people that don't live in their purpose to prevent you from living in yours. Mm -hmm. I had to get back to the notes. What you say? I say you got to stop allowing people that's not living in their purpose to prevent you from living in yours. Friends say, oh, man, that's a word. I'm waiting on y'all to jot it down. Y'all say, let me get five badges, IG. Let me get a couple badges over here on IG real quick. Let me get a couple badges on IG. Come on, she say drop mic. Uh, y'all, send me some love over here. We had 302. Double tap on the screen. What you said? I said that you got to stop allowing people that's not the people that's not living in their purpose 
that don't even know what their purpose is. You got to stop letting people that's not living in their purpose prevent you from living in yours. She said, I'm on the flow. Yeah. Just because they don't know what they want out of their life. You got them. You, you over there allowing them to hold you up. You over there allowing them to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant. Just because they don't want it for themselves, Just because they don't want it for their life. Just because they, yeah, 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 uh-uh. You got to stop that. Because the enemy comes in all types of forms. And when I say enemy, we're not talking about no, 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 no devil running around with no pitchfork and no on fire with the horns. We ain't talking about that. Because all snakes don't hiss. Some of y'all laying next to your op. Some of y'all in a relationship right now with your op. Some of y'all right now, y'all more concerned about your, your, your family members. That's the ops. Y'all can so concerned about them, but that, that's the op. That's your distraction. You and your concern for them and what they got going on is what's preventing you from walking in your purpose. You being so wrapped up in that relationship and making that relationship work is the reason why you're distracted from your purpose. You over there focus on those friends and coming through for those friends and being everything that those friends need, not understanding that they're a distraction. And half of the time, the distractions, the folks that you're running out of, they have no genuine concern for you at all. Because a person that's not walking in their purpose, that's not operating in their purpose, they don't want you walking in yours either. Because as long as we all down bad together, then we got one thing in common. We all down bad and misery loves company. So as long as I'm sitting over here soaking, having a pity party, depressed, stressed out, don't know if I'm coming or going, then it's all happy, happy, joy, joy. But the moment that you start to grow, the moment that you start to heal, the moment that you start to do more than what they're doing, then they start to show you who they really are. Because like I said, all snakes don't hiss. Yeah, some of them call you bestie. Some of them call you favorite cousin. Some of them call you boo boo bun bun. Some of them call you bae. Yeah, okay. That's why I asked y'all to send me the badges first and the gifts first because I already knew that it was going to make some folk mad. I already knew that. that yeah, yeah, that, that part was going to get under somebody's skin because wait a minute, what you say? Yeah, what I said was that all snakes don't hiss. That some of these snakes that's out right now, some of these biggest distractions that y'all have right now, they call you boo-boo. They call you bun-bun. They call you bae. They, 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 that's your favorite cousin. That's your bestie over there. I want you to understand that people that are not walking in their purpose, they will try to go outside of their way to to distract you from being able to live in yours because what misery loves company and as long as we are all down bad together as long as we sitting over here having a pity party together as long as all of us over here accepting the bare minimum and going through the same exact thing then we can sit over here and we can trauma bond together we can exchange these same war stories together and that nobody is judging nobody nobody is motivating nobody nobody is pushing the other person because we are all right here you don't don't know your circle you don't know the people that you're dealing with you don't know whether that love is real or not whether that support is real or not you don't know the people that surround you until you start winning that's a fact yeah yeah that's a, that's a fact that's a fact some people gonna say it's not but it's a fact when you start winning in life when you start advancing in life that's when you're gonna really start to see who's for you or not because you'll be able to tell in their mannerisms you'll be able to tell in their conversations you'll be able to tell in those dressed up jokes and stuff that they'll put out there you'll be able to identify that and you can't see it when y'all all down bad because all of y'all are laughing and joking about the same thing all of y'all are sitting and crying about the same thing you don't know who's for you and who's not for you until you decide to pick yourself up dust yourself off you don't know who's for you and who's not for you until you start to grow and so until you start to learn until you start to elevate in life and then their true identity will start coming out in that because the truth of the matter is like i tell y'all every single video some folk want to see you do well but not better than them you can succeed in life but you can't go further than me you can have in life but you can't have more than me you can be happy in life but i don't need you being more happy than me and when you start to move that type 
of way, that's when you start to see who's for you and who's not. Because some of those folks, oh, we ain't heard from you in a while, so you must be acting funny. Oh, you ain't picked up the phone and checked on me. I ain't did this and I ain't did that. As if life ain't life. Not one time. Yeah, oh, you ain't asking me what I've been busy doing. You ain't asked me what I had going on. You ain't asked me about my mental health. You ain't asked me about my quality of life. You over here asking me while I ain't showed up for you, why I ain't called you, why I ain't checked on you, why I ain't been ringing your phone, why I ain't knocked on your door. You don't even know that I've been over here and I've been going through hell and high water. You don't even know over here I've been sick and down bad. You don't even know over here I've been over here trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to pay my bills. You didn't even know that over here I've been in a dark hour over here i've been a shown up wilderness over here i've been sliding down every single wall in my house and then had to pull out the couch so i can slide down that wall you don't even know what i'm going through because people are not really concerned about you they're concerned about what you can do for them yeah, I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah, they ain't concerned about you. I'm concerned about, are you still going to be able to come through for me? Are you still going to be able to provide it for me? Are you still going to be able to give it to me? It's not so much. Yeah, yeah, it's not about you. It's about me. So that's the reason why I tell you. Everybody going to always do what's best for them. So you owe it to yourself to make sure that you're always doing what's best for you. Even if it piss people off, even if it upsets some folk, even if it makes some people decide that they no longer want to deal with you. You got to understand that you're going to have to always do what's best for you. And not only that, you don't owe nobody no explanation for you doing so. If you decide that that relationship ain't for you anymore, then that's all that it is. It's not for me. And you walk away. When you decide that this family, the things that y'all do, the way that y'all move, the way that y'all behave, the things that y'all condone, the things that y'all look at as generational curse, I mean, generational traditions and whatnot it's just not for me i look at those things as if they're toxic i look at it as a generational curse i look at it and i see that it's very much damaging i look at it and i see that it's mental or emotional or spiritual abuse and i decide that i no longer want to partake in that then guess what that's where i'm gonna stand i'm i don't have to break that down to my mama i ain't gotta break it down to my great great granny i ain't gotta break it down to nobody that's over there i'm going to do what's best for me and i don't care how nobody feel about it yeah, folk gonna always do it. Well, you know, this is where the church that everybody came to and we done been practicing in this denomination for so long. I, I mean, I don't understand why you gonna want to leave because I'm not fed here. Because I'm not satisfied here. Because I don't, yeah, yeah, it's not giving what it's supposed to have gave. I'm tired of walking in these doors and it's giving, I'm feeling this way. And when I walk out, I feel twice as bad. I'm tired of coming in here and not getting all the way, uh, getting all the way, yeah, yeah. Getting everything that I need from here. I'm tired of walking in here feeling judged. I'm tired of walking in here feeling bashed over the head. I'm tired of walking in here feeling disrespected like all eyes on me. That's why I want to go to where I feel welcome. I want to go to where I feel safe. I want to go where I feel like... Uh, I belong there where I want to go to a place where I feel like this right here this is for me and that's what you're supposed to do in any environment not just in a church I'm talking about a church I'm talking about a job I'm talking about a relationship a friendship a family ship if I don't feel welcome there I'm not coming if I don't feel appreciated there I'm not coming if I don't feel respected if I don't feel valued if I don't feel heard then guess what I'm not coming save your invite save your text message save your phone call because it's not happening I'm no longer staying connected to, attached to, entangled to, having no type of conversation, text messages, paragraphs, or none of that with anything or anybody that's going to make me feel as though I have to abandon the person that I am in order for me to deal with you. I'm done sacrificing me. And that's a fact. I'm done. I'm done sacrificing me. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be able to do it. I, I'm, I'm done sacrificing for me. I'm, I, I ain't doing that no more. One thing, I got three C's. I got three C's and I want to drop them for you. But let me get y'all almost at 400K. Let me get y'all up there. I'm done sacrificing myself. I'm done sacrificing myself. Make sure y'all got y'all ink pens out. Double tap on the screen. I got, some, I got more. I got more. I got more. I got a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Your truthfulness is making me cry. Oh, I, hey, listen. Release that. Crying is a release. Let that go. Get that up off of you. Get that up off of you. Understand that. Get that up off of you. Because the truth of the matter is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's triggering. It's, it's very much triggering. Why? Because that's, that's life. That's a 
lot of our life. And it ain't just you. So don't think that you by yourself. It's some other folk that's on here crying right along with you. It's some folks on here that's dancing up and down their hallway because it's all confirmation for them as well. You will be amazed how many people walk around feeling like other people are their responsibility. That other people, they, they got to make sure that everybody else is good before they're good. Why? Because we've been taught that since we were younger. We were always taught to give. It's better to give than to receive. We were always taught that it was better to, for us to give up everything that we had to make somebody else happy. To give everything that we got to make somebody else happy. That's what we've been taught even as a child. We don't even teach our kids boundaries. If that's my child's toy and my child don't want you to play with their toy, then guess what? That's their toy. Your mama should have dropped you off with some toys. That's just what it is. I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna take something that belongs to my child to give to somebody else's child so that they can be happy while making my child cry, while making my child sad, while making my child feel like, oh, this mine and I gotta give up me. No, I uh, -uh no, no, we don't do that, baby. Mm -mm. Boundaries at an early age, shame but seven, shame but seven, but boundaries is already there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I tell another child quickly, you're going to have to pick another baby doll, honey. She wants to play with that one. That's a fact. You're going to have to pick another baby doll because she want to play with that one. That they, uh, yeah, She already got that. That's her favorite one right there. We ain't going to be able to do it. And that's how you got to view it about your own life, though. We've always been taught that. But now we have to unlearn some of the things that we thought that we knew. We thought that we had this thing all wrapped up. We thought that we knew these things. But what we didn't understand is that we were being taught by broken people. We were being taught by people that were in at that time. They were under, they was in survival mode. In that time, they were doing whatever they could do to simply survive we're no longer operating that way understand that i'm not giving up what makes me happy to make somebody else happy i'm not putting myself on the back burner anymore to push somebody else's dreams i'm no longer because even back in the day oh yeah you better do this and you better make sure your husband have this make sure your husband have that and what you got you got so many women right now you got so many women right now that are highly educated they got all types of degrees they got all types of skills all these different things and what they do they put themselves on the back burner to feel somebody else's dream to push somebody else to the top level to make sure that they have everything that they got they set themselves on the back burner to make sure that they give everything that they got to somebody else and when that person get up there they do what they decide that you're not worthy of their love anymore that they don't want you anymore that you're not fitting the bill anymore you don't look like the part anymore so what they do they go and find somebody that's already working in the same feel that they're working in somebody from their job oh we met them at work we met them here we met them there so now that's where their interests are so even though you didn't sacrificed your whole entire life for that person you didn't bent over backwards put all your dreams everything on hold to make sure that that person reached that level of success that they said that they wanted and guess what now you're filled with what regret you over there man you all, yeah, because y'all got that mentality. It's better to give than to receive. It's better to give than receive. It's better to give when it's being reciprocated. Hello, somebody. That's right. It's better to give when it's being reciprocated. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not, even, I'm not even about to do it. Not yet. I'm not even about to do it. It's better to give when it's a re being reciprocated. Understand that. But if you can't pick up what I'm putting down, you ain't got no business getting nothing from me. If that's right, if you can't pour into me the way that I'm pouring into you, you ain't got no business being connected to me. That, understand that. It's all about reciprocation. And you got some people in your life right now that they will use your skills, your talents, your mindset, everything that you got to fill their dreams and they will leave you over there lacking. And that's what happens. So you have all these people now that they put themselves on the back burner, now that they've sacrificed their dreams, they got this whole entire education. They have all these different things. And guess what? They got all of that, but they don't have any type of nothing. They, they, they got all of that. They sitting on it. But when it comes down to the mindset, mm-mm, mm-mm. I just can't believe it, coach. I stopped working on myself to make sure that they were able to accomplish their dreams. I may I was the person that filled out the application for them. I was the person that helped them get the job. I was the help person that did the work for them while they were in school. I did all the late nights with them. I was the person that was up doing this and doing that. And you really went out here and chose somebody over me when I've been sacrificing for you. I lost my family over this person. I lost all my friends over this person. I walked away from my job because they didn't like the people at my job. I love my job. I did this and I did that. And I walked all the way over away from all of that, coach, because I wanted them to be happy. I wanted them to feel secure. I wanted them to feel okay. I wanted to make sure they were okay. And what did I say? You more loyal to them than you are to yourself. You want to heal them by destroying you. That's self-sabotaging. 
It ain't your fault that they insecure. It, that, that ain't got nothing to do with you. It ain't, yeah, yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with you. You gave up your whole entire life. You sacrificed your whole entire life to make sure somebody else was good. And the moment that they got to where they wanted to be in their life, guess what? They showed you exactly what, how, you, how they felt about you. They showed you exactly where they stood with you. They'll go right over there and they'll do whatever it is that they want to do. And they're going to do it with whomever they want to do it with. And they don't care about how they leave you. They don't care that it's leaving you broken. It doesn't care. They don't care that your heart is in shambles and that you just don't understand it. You know, because y'all love to say that too. I just want to understand it i just want to know what is it that that person is doing that i'm not doing and why would they pick that person over me now they didn't put that that the whole thing over there now they got you over there competing with somebody that you don't even know now they got you over there looking for fault within yourself now they over they got you over there self-doubting that your self-esteem is on the ground your confidence is on the ground you competing with everybody that you see them with you feel so you yeah you, you all of these things So for those of you that's looking for the answer to the question, double tap on my screen because I want to give you the answer to the question. I just want I want to give you the answer to the question for every single person that have hit me up, that have inboxed me, that have done life coaching with me in some type of capacity or even wrote inside my comments. When you get to that point where you feel like I've given them the best in me, I've sacrificed myself, I've given them this, I've given them that, I stayed up with them late night for school, I made sure that the paperwork was right, I filled out the applications, I'm the person that updated their resume. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't have a driver's license, they wouldn't have a car. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of coach you don't know the countless sacrifices that i made for this individual and now that i've given them everything that i have now that i've got I'm, I'm absolutely empty coach i can't even i can't I'm, I'm just empty and some of us right now we today we woke we woke up this morning and you feel empty you woke up this morning you feel used you feel abused you feel taken advantage of you feel like you've been walked like a complete dog and some of you if we can be fair some of us feel like a complete fool right let's just be real let's just be real I see y'all say it's for me it's for me I see the yes is over here the problem is self-sacrifice the problem is self-sacrifice You are not a lamb. Get yourself up off that altar. You are not a lamb. These are not the days of the old. Get up off the altar. You can't be more loyal to other people than you are to yourself. You can't go outside of your way constantly giving and giving and doing and doing for people that are not willing to reciprocate that same love, affection, time and attention I need for you to understand that the devil that the enemy is not running around on fire with a pitchfork and horns out of his head I need for you to understand that all snakes don't hiss some of these snakes are the people that you are in a relationship with some of these snakes are the same people that you call your business partner that you call your best friend that you call your favorite cousin some of these people that you're dealing with i want you to understand it's the reason why you're not living up to your fullest potential because of the distraction bring to your life because of the chaos that they bring to your life because of the discord that they bring to your life because you have to always stop doing what you need to do for you to come and assist them in some type of way shape or form that you constantly have to continuously put yourself on pause to go over there and get them off that ledge to get them back in alignment to make sure that they understand what's going on so you're constantly stopping and stopping. I mean, stopping and starting, stopping and starting, stopping and starting. You could be so much further ahead. 
if you learn how to put your eyes on your own paper. You'll be so much further ahead if you take that same loyalty that you have towards other people and apply that loyalty to yourself. You'll be so much happier. You'll be so much more successful and you will have so much more peace if you become the person to yourself that you have been to other people for so many years. Can you imagine how happy you would be within yourself if you start loving you the way that you loved other people? Can you imagine how fulfilled, how sad satisfied you would be right now in this life if you start being loyal to you the way that you've been to other people if you start showing up for you the way you've shown up for other people if you start sacrificing for you the way that you've been sacrificing for other people if you start practicing the level of discipline that you had for other people if you start practicing that in your own life because when it comes and I say that because we're very disciplined when we got somebody else to show up for we'll be there on time sometimes We'll be there before time sitting out in our car waiting on them. But when it's you, you got excuses. I got three things that I want you to focus on. Your first one is this right here. Y'all ready? Double tap on the screen. Clarity. I want you to start praying for clarity in your life. I want you to start praying for clarity in your life. And in order for you to be able to receive the clarity that you want, I need for you to understand that you're going to have to get away from the chaos. You're going to have to get the chaos away from you so that you will be able to hear your voice and not everybody else's. I need you to get that clarity because I need you to understand what is it that I want out of my life? What is it that I what is it that I want for my life? How do I see myself in my life? What is it that I really want to do in my life? And I want you to be clear on that. Clarity, you know, knowing what you what to do and when to do it. Clarity, knowing what to do and when to do it. You got you to break things down for yourself. This is what I want to do. And this is when I want to do it. Set the goals up. Align your life for the goals that you want. Anything that doesn't go in alignment with that is trash. Get it out of there. Second C is going to be courage. Why do I need that one, coach? Because the moment that you start operating in your purpose, the moment that you start praying for clarity and aligning your life, knowing what you want to do and the time in which you want to get it done, you got to get prepared for the distractions. You got to get prepared for the naysayers. You got to be prepared for the Debbie doubters. You got to be prepared for the negative Nancy's. You got to be prepared for the folks to come up into your life to try to distract you or to discourage you from being able to do it. It's going to be some folks that say, oh, you can't do that. That's not going to be able to happen. I've seen other people try that and that did not work. It might not work for them, but you are not them. Never allow somebody else to dump their fears and their insecurities and their failures on you. Just because you couldn't do it don't mean that I can't. Just because you didn't have the courage to step out on faith, just because you didn't have the discipline to follow it all the way through, does not mean that I won't be able to do it. Understand that because what's for you, some things just ain't for everybody. Maybe they wasn't able to do it because it wasn't a part of their assignment. Maybe they wasn't able to do it because it wasn't for them to be able to do. Some things in life are only going to be designed for you. And you won't receive that blessing. You won't receive that breakthrough. You won't uh, receive that opportunity. You won't receive that open door until you disconnect from those individuals. Yeah, they, yeah, you over here blocking my blessing. As soon as I got away from you, as soon as I got away from you, and I wasn't even away from you a full 24 hours, and look what happened. All of a sudden, doors then started opening. As soon as I detached myself from you, and here I am two weeks in, and my heart is already in a better place. I done been away from you now three months, and now I'm starting to see things differently. I done been away from you for a full year, and the things that I've been struggling to have, coach, in the past five years, I've accomplished more in this one year of me 
not being attached to this individual than I have done in five years. Why? Because you was attached to the op. You was connected to the op. You was more loyal to the op. You was running after the op. You was doing everything that you do needed to do to make sure the op was okay. You got to understand that the moment that you get away from some folk, then all of a sudden you will be able to tell who you was connected to by way things start to happen. As long as I've been working on this, it never worked because you was here. The moment that I detached myself from you, boom, just like that. Every opportunity that I wanted is now coming to me. Everything I've been praying and fasting and begging for, you know what I mean? Now all of a sudden, here it is, the moment that I got disconnected from you. So the first one gonna be clarity. The second thing is courage. That's right. You need to, you're gonna have to understand that it's gonna be some folk that's gonna come against you as soon as you start operating in your purpose. Why? Because people that ain't walking in their purpose don't want you walking in yours. People that ain't happy in their life don't want you happy in yours. People that's not successful in their life don't want you successful in yours. People that's over there struggling and whatnot, they want you to struggle with them. If they down bad, they want you to be down bad with them. If they ain't got it, they want you to not have it with them. How dare you try to have more than me? How dare you try to be successful? How dare you try to be happy? How dare you try to have joy? How dare you try to have peace that surpasses all understanding? How dare you wake up in a good mood how dare you walk around with a smile on your face don't you know you got all hell breaking loose in your life don't you know some folk talking about you don't you know that there's some stuff going on over there people will be intimidated and they're upset with you for walking in your purpose only because they don't have the strength or the encouragement to be able to walk in theirs the next three is what competence oh yeah what's competence coach <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you it was three C's. It was three C's. You need clarity. You need courage. And you need competence. Which, why, why you say that, coach? Because competence, y'all ready? Just put y'all ready. I need to know when y'all ready. We at 464K on TikTok. Y'all double tap on the screen. Y'all at 464K. The goal, the goal is 500K. Let's go. Uh, double tap. I only need three more badges on IG. I only need three more badges. Yeah, oh, the third one is competence. <laughs> mm -hmm. You need competence. Oh, y'all see it. They say they're ready over here. Oh, y'all ready? I see it coming up over here. Double tap on that screen. We almost at 500K. We have, okay, we have 470. Okay, 471. Let's go. Double tap on the screen real quick. Yeah, we about to, we about to be at that 500. What, what's competence? Y'all got y'all EPNs? Okay, competence. The ability to do something successfully and efficiently, having the knowledge, the skills, and the strength. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if that ain't enough to make you take off running down your hallway, if that ain't enough to make you, oh, yeah, pull over on the side of the road, if that ain't enough, ooh, what you say, coach? I said you have to have the clarity. You got you to gotta be clear knowing what to do and when to do it. You have to have the courage because you're going to have some folk that's not going to like it that you decided that you're going to walk in your purpose even though they're not walking in theirs. See, people who are not walking in theirs, they don't want you to walk in yours. And you got to be prepared to lose some folks. You got to be prepared for some folk to walk away. You got to be prepared for some people to speak negatively against you. So you got to have the right type of courage to be able to stand even if it's just you standing. And you have to have that competence, the ability Ability to do something successfully and efficiently having the right knowledge the right skills and the right strength mm, mm, mm. come on now I, I i just ran it back i just ran those are your three c's i want you to apply those notes to your life i want you to apply those notes to your life yeah yeah note number one note number one that we talked that we talked about this morning black and peeling them out because she's saying repeat the notes back hey y'all go y'all ready for the notes okay y'all up y'all okay there we 500k y'all got 500k on tiktok shout out to y'all thank y'all so much man i appreciate you guys so much man if i blessed your soul if i motivated you if i inspired you and brought you confirmation in any type of way shape or form go ahead and bless me up real quick i appreciate you guys so much note number one is growth is when you can disagree with yourself i love you but you ain't worth my peace. 
I love you, but yeah, I don't love you enough to sacrifice me. Growth is when you're able to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and agree that this is, this was a good time, but it ain't, for, it ain't for right now. This was a good relationship, but it just ain't right now. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I do love them. I do want to be there with them, but they've already shown me the person that they were. So I'm going to have to go ahead and get off this boat right here. I'm going to have to go ahead and abort this mission right here. I'm going to have to go ahead and disconnect right, ne right now, right here, right now. I can't afford to drag it on out anymore. I can't afford to keep on playing with you back and forth. We're not even about to do that. I'm about to mosey on about my business. Ain't no beef at all. My boundary is not a beef it's not that we got anything you know going on or nothing like that i just i'm, I'm no longer trying to stay attached to anything that's not in alignment with what it is that i want to do in my life note number two was um anything that's not in alignment with your purpose don't deserve your attention if it's not aligned with the purpose if the man or the woman that you're manifesting the man or woman that you're intentionally creating if it's not in alignment with that then it's considered to be trash and what we do with trash we take out trash because if you allow trash to sit in your house it'll start to stay up your house it'll begin to grow what worms and maggots it'll start to mold you got to understand that's the same way it is in your actual life when you stay connected to trash you are all all of a sudden it'll start to stink up your life understand that it'll start to grow those uh yeah, those mental maggots all in your life you can't afford to hold on to trash you can't afford to hold on to anything that's not beneficial to your growth and your development understand that and the next thing note number three was what you can't change people but you can change how they have how you deal with those folks i can't change the person that you are but i can change how i deal with you yeah 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 so you can't disrespect me and still have the same type of access to me you can't disrespect me and still reap the benefits of me you can't disrespect me and still be connected to me the disrespect is the closure understand that the next note note number four was what you got to stop allowing people that don't live in their purpose to prevent you from living in yours those are your notes from the day. You have four black ink pen notes. You had three C's. And I threw out a couple of uh, red ink pens in there. I just want to tell you guys that I love y'all so much, man. You guys have just reached y'all goal over here on TikTok. I mean, on IG as well. Y'all actually surpassed y'all goal. Y'all are at 45 badges. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys that dropped me a badge. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys so much, man. You know, just for making my job just, you know what I'm saying, the best place in the world. I love doing what I do. I love working up and doing what I do on a regular and consistent basis. And I want you guys to know from me to you that I appreciate every kind word that you guys share. Every Every video that you post every you know what i mean i think appreciate you guys so much because y'all share my content y'all comment on my content y'all interact with my content y'all duet my, my videos over here on tiktok y'all share my videos and mix my remix my videos over here on ig i appreciate all the love and the support that i get from y'all from my heart to you guys i just want y'all to know that i appreciate you guys so much um competence is the ability to do something successfully efficiently knowing the having the knowledge the skill and the strength she asked me to repeat that i love you guys so much and every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground i want you to sweat yourself tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because it's no love like self-love and you first have got to love yourself way before you're able to love anybody else it's your favorite online motivational speaker your favorite online life coach it's your girl street poet thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys so much Rep uh, repeat number three is you can't change people but you can change how you deal with them you can't change people, but you can change how you deal with them. I want you guys to have the amazing, amazing day. I love you guys so much, man. Remember that you are in total and complete control. You cannot control life, but you can control how you respond to it. And your response is powerful because there are some people that simply want a response from you, a response from you. What they want is attention. They want your attention. They want to be able to distract you. So guard your focus. And most importantly, guys, remember. Remember, right now protecting my vibe I got yeah I got the I got the hoodies I'm gonna drop one of the hoodies for y'all today I'm gonna because I'm actually gonna go ahead and make me one to wear when I get to New Orleans this weekend but if you haven't been to my website make sure you go so that go do so because I have them up on my website right now um don't do not disturb my vibe uh we're not doing that I'm gonna tell you that right now we're protecting our vibe that's where we at right now uh October is October is mental health um awareness month I am doing a 31 day challenge inside of my patreon so if you guys are a part of my support 
private group i already got that uh i already got all the information the fast and everything is already put up for you guys so you guys can also go inside of there get all the information so that you can start on time i want us to all start on time finish on time and finish strong i love you guys enjoy the rest of your day